So my son just brought the mail in and in it is this. I have been waiting for this. I've never bought one before and I am so excited. So this, I bought this wig. It is a cheap as hell wig. It's like $6.79 on eBay and it came from China so it took forever to get here. So let's see what it looks like. Um, and I did just go with a basic one because I don't know crap about wigs. Oh, there's a thingy on it. I don't have a wig cap. I'm gonna have to stop and get one and a wig comb, apparently. I was reading about that today and about different things that you do because I didn't even know what these little straps were for <laughs> until I watched a video from The Charmed Witch. Uh, her channel is amazing. She's hilarious. She's a YouTuber from I think England. So looking at this, this is really cool again. But it has this like spot right in the top. That's funny. And it has a little bit of plastic in it. I'm not noticing like she was talking about fallout. I assume that's like your brushes. So it has these long bangs and I am going to pop this on my head and it's going to look stupid but I've never used one of these. I don't have the little nut thingamajigger to pull my hair back with. We're just gonna give it a go and see what happens. Um, and I haven't adjusted it or anything because I don't know anything about that yet. Um, okay, what do you think? I think I definitely need to figure out how I adjust it because it doesn't feel secure at all, like it's gonna fall off. Um, and obviously my hair isn't pinned up or anything under here. Uh, it's just on. Oh, got to pull it back right. She said one of the big things is you pull it back to your hairline where your natural hairline is. So if I do that, mine's right there. Yeah, I bought this just for fun because I have an idea for my channel that I thought, you know, one of these would be interesting and I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on something I hate. Let me figure out how this works and I will come back, but I just thought I'd show you my brand new purchase and how it currently looks just flopped on my head. <laughs> like... This is so fun. I've never ever had a wig before. So excited. So here it is in all its glory. I still don't have the right cap underneath and I'm positive I don't have it adjusted exactly perfect because it's still a little bit flighty on my head. And I'm rather positive that if I actually had one of those net um, wig caps on, that I would be having less issues. I'm also not sure how I feel about these bangs. So here's my question. If you do wigs and I'm going to ask it on a couple channels, can I take a pair of scissors and like shag cut that so that it doesn't flop in my eyes quite so much and look quite so harsh? If you know, please tell me because I really want to know. Well, so much for that fun. So she also said that using a hat or something over the top of these super inexpensive wigs makes them look much better. Um, I hope so, because I hope that that's true because right now, um, while it's really interesting and kind of fun to play with, I'm like, ugh, there's, you know, some serious issues going on here. It does look really cheap, but it is fun. I mean, for, this was less than 10 bucks. So who the hell cares, right? Uh, it, it was, it's a fun experiment to see what it's like. Um, I ordered another one in a totally wild color. So I'm excited to see that come in. But guys, I wanted to show you this fun, you know, inexpensive way to just completely change everything. And I know that this is a really boring color and everything. At the time I bought it, I was thinking, I don't want to go crazy out there. I just wanted something kind of fun to see how it looked. And I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on something I hated. So, you know, for a cheap, fun experiment, this is perfect and it's cute. And I am excited to see how this is gonna look uh, with other things. So yeah, let me know what you think and if you've tried wigs and what the hell I do about this mess, because I really, <laughs> I really wanna change that. Um, it just, it's a bad length for me. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.